Hello, Cobrats, and welcome back to Undertale. I'm Shrikelight Tamer. Things are starting to take a turn for creepiness right here. Let's go ahead and get started here in the true lab. And immediately the music may sound a little bit familiar to a certain other game of a similar caliber. This fake plan right here. Let's go and save while we're here in the true laboratory. Buy chips for 25 gold? Sure, anything to keep me going. The vending machine, dispense some chips. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and look at these chips. Potato chips. <laughs> Info. Potato chips. Heals 13 HP. Regular old potato chips. Alright. Then this interesting colorful door. Nothing to say quite right now. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. Alright. Another fake plant here. And more reading to be done. Power room. Okay, <laughs> not too much more. This is completely red, so we do have a little bit of color coordination to work with here. So let's get going to the left side of things. Here we got some entries. Number six of that. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then... Freedom might be closer than we all thought. So yes, there's definitely some experiments going on. But, there's more to be found out. Entry number 9, so we're skipping forward a little bit. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Ah. And I'm sure we know who's writing all these. Some kind of operating table. It's sticky. I'm sure the same is to be said about these other ones. And how sticky they can be. And nothing to be said about these. And we got some sinks. You turned on the sink. Number two, you turned on the sink. Number three, you turned on the sink. But that's a different kind of liquid than I'm used to. Hello, happy face. Uh, goodbye, happy face. Something drew near. And this music may also felt sound familiar. But let's just say it's based off of a sample of the Beach Boys song Deirdre. And once you experience Earthbound and Undertale, then you get to feel a little bit more creeped out by the uh, starting sound of that song. That's originally supposed to be happy. <laughs> anyway, let's check these guys out. No data available. Ah, seems we got some dial-up going on here. Come on, you guys gotta be upgraded. Ooh, let's be careful to avoid these faces, even though I have the Timmy armor on, so it's not like too much damage can be done to me. And yeah, I do have the Burnt Pan, though, be healing me, so that's a good thing to keep on, just to keep myself very defensive about things. Uh, what are your stats? Attack 30, defense 30. Still a little cloudy on their text. Do -do -do. <laughs> the music that's going like... <laughs> Kind of sounds like going, I play Pokemon Go! <laughs> to kind of be a little bit less serious here. Uh, how about the cell phone? You take out your cell phone, you can hear voices through the receiver. Kind of favoring the A1. But here they are. Come join the fun, they all say. So yeah, there's quite a lot of <laughs> creepy things in this place. Alright, let's just make sure not to avoid them. Just gotta watch for the things as they're appearing with my soul. And these are called memory heads. And can we check him again? Memory head. Yep. Lorem Ipsum Dokit. It's a real get together. It's a real get together. Lorem Ipsum Dokit. Like, uh, translated to Latin means pain itself teaches, but it's kind of a play on words like, uh, Ipsum Dokit. It's just like, uh, some kind of text filler. But it's kind of given the creepy meaning with the lorem, like, pain itself teaches. But nobody came. But it's not call I'm not calling for anybody. Let's go for B. I want to join you, because you're just a cool little bee. Come join the phone in just a moment, come join the fun! Alright, let's just, uh... Be sure not to have too much damage taking place, even though it could very easily go back and save. And, you know, just spread things out. Let's how about... How about we refuse C, because he's always asking me. Or maybe it's a female, or maybe it's both, you never know. Become one of us, come join the fun! That's a shame. Oh, gotta be careful, man. <laughs> Kinda getting ganged up upon here. And there we go, seems like it doesn't care anymore, it's all yellow, and it's time to spare. No SP, no gold, but gets them out of the way. And oh man, it's a fidget spinner of blood. 
There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it on your keychain. What keychain? Oh well, yeah, the one with my phone. And it's like a curtain tent to go into, but it's just like a different room. Come on, phone, get back out of stuff. <laughs> Speaking of Pokemon Go. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain. Dropped it. Seems like we've already figured that out. Even if it's all we could read. Let's go ahead and put the red key right there. Clickety clue into that slot. Looking like a plankton or something. Some kind of metallic one. Maybe looking a little bit better if we go to the green colored one. Because we have a lot of different colors going on. The plankton, he does have a red eye, I think. <laughs> of all things, I've been watching through Spongebob just to avoid uh, all the YouTube poops for once. Even though they are enjoyable. So yep, we're making progress. We have... A red, blue, yellow, and green. Green being the unreleased in America Japanese one, haha, <laughs> Pokemon jokes. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Keep that up. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. That's all being written there. Dog bowl. Empty dog food bowl. Okay. We got some beds in this room, and I uh, hear another entry saying, let's go ahead and read that before interacting too much with these beds. And also fake plants, and a, a clock that is broken at 3 o'clock. Well, it's more at 12 o'clock the way I'm facing it, and more 9 o'clock actually. <laughs> entry number 14, everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners? Well, you thought wrong. Let's check this bed first. Seems like a comfortable bed. Sure, let's lie in it. Not like anything bad can happen. It would kind of help to pull the covers over me if you wanted to sleep. So yeah, if you wait long enough, an upside down white spoon will appear. And if you wait even longer, it's kind of protruding a little bit. Uh, let's just think of it as nothing. It's like Lavender Town. Oh, then that white hand on your shoulder must be nothing. <laughs> uh, this must just be a weird carnival game where you hit the bell at the top, but if you go too far, it messes up your rewards. Seems to be comforting enough, though. Like in Mario Party, where if you hit it too hard, you just uh, miss and not actually get any items, and then all the characters have their predetermined stuff. Speaking of all this determination, let's save here at the True Lab bedroom. I uh, can't really do too much interaction with all the yellow ones, because it's all just like there's something under the sheets. Let's check it out. Okay, this is one thing. The yellow key you put on your keychain. <laughs> of course, we're getting the keys before we're actually seeing the hints to all them. Uh, let's wait forward. Let's go ahead and save again, because I got that thing. Save me five seconds of progress, even though saving takes up a little bit of time as well. Lots of golden flowers in here, huh? Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Backstory. Despite everything, it's still me. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. If the seeds just stick to you, it won't let go. All this metaphorical stuff happening. Looking at myself in the reflection. Ooh. A different kind of reflection. <laughs> kind of creative that the little speech bubble turned into evil thing. <laughs> it's kind of hard to notice, but, well, this thing's gonna end up being called the Reaper bird, but the head of it looks like a bird with a beak, but it's actually an overturned loops, or, well, a stigmatism. That's the, like, the later enemy. <laughs> so if you can tell, it's kind of a amalgamate of different enemies. Like, you see, kind of a dog deal down there. Anyway, enough just mystifyingly looking at it. Let's check it out. This way. Uh, you. Alright. Uh, that's there. Oh no, it's like it's being attacked by its own things. Kinda feel sorry for it. <laughs> being healed, unnecessarily. It would help for me to actually be healed with the damage that I have. Uh, let's pray for it. You kneel and pray for safety. Kama remembers his conscience. Brown, what are you so afraid of? Alright. Now we gotta avoid the stuff. Ooh. Oh man, I thought it wasn't gonna be hit. Man, I gotta restart this whole LP if I want to have a no damage run. That would take forever. <laughs> you have to be the absolute best player, but even the best player may still slip up sometimes. How about we mystify? I think that's something for the Shirens. 
which I believe is part of this. Something more to learn from this world. Okay, that might actually be a ruins enemy. Kind of stirring, but oh well. Weird bubble duck heads reminds me of items you can get in Pikmin 2. Whoa, come on, don't go on down to me like that. <laughs> Even with the Timmy armor, I'm still taking decent amounts of damage. How about we pick on? Kind of go with the reverse psychology thing. Reaper bird, Reaper bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit, courage. Alright, so. Yep, we just gotta interact with them a little bit and get in to the point where they can be spared. Seems placated. Mihi placa. It is pleasing to me. <laughs> I'm teaching you Latin in this episode. Pretty fitting with the being in a death filled situation. Let's go to this room. It's actually the blue key slot. Read this. No one around. Can't make it all out. Cold. That's all you could read. Alright, so we're kind of getting new stuff out of that. But we already got the uh, amalgamate enemy taken care of. Uh, do need to heal. <laughs> I was going to save anyway. What's my timing at? <laughs> Let me go ahead and check my runtime. Had to get a little bit of the uh, previous episode finished off. 17 minutes in, let's not rest it too much. Get my mouse all the way, even though it's not showing up on the screen for you, I don't think. Save there, get all healed up. Uh, let's read this entry. Number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Okay. Seems to be going well right there. Let's go ahead and go to the right. This one, number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore, except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. So obviously, <laughs> goes without saying that it's Alphys doing all this stuff. Fans everywhere. Let's hope it doesn't get too cold or hot. Let's press the switch. Nothing could go wrong. Yes, indeed. The fans are on, getting rid of the fog. Alright, we should be safe. Uh-oh. But it seems we have something for me into another amalgamate. Nice little circle to an evil dog. I'm gonna face you. No, I'm gonna cower away because that's a little bit frightening. You know what? Face you in the fans! Here we are. The amalgamate. And yeah, this music is just, uh, creepy. And, like, the way it slags are is like a Rorschach pattern, making it look like cats down there. Let's go ahead and check on it. Unclear how many dogs this counts as. You can never have enough dogs though, except when they're like that, a little creepy, spitting arrows out of their mouths. <laughs> Just think of it like a Native American dog trying to fight you. Watching intently. So what will we do with a normal dog? We'll start by beckoning them. You call the amalgamate to bounce towards you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. I don't want to know what orifice and what liquid. <laughs> you can kind of see it happening as it's protruding its stuff. Protruding, not protruding. Treating for professionals. <laughs> Surprised I dodged that as well as I did. Hovering close, looking for affection. Alright. We've beckoned. So now, we pet. You pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your map flat for a moment. <sighs> Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Ah. Sounds like it's trying to get riled up here. Ooh, be careful. Not too hard to dodge things. Of course, as soon as I say I probably would have been hit, but I wasn't. Striking the wall with its claws. So what do we do? We play! You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Now amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body on you. And... Here it goes with its rocket propulsion. Let's keep it fluid and circular. Oh yeah, no damage so far. Twitching affectionately. More petting. You pet the amalgamate. It starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. More and more happening. It's going even crazier and crazier. It's ever picking up with the major scale of the keys. Oh, oh finally got hit. Thought we heal it up a little bit. Convulsions intensify. Keep up with the petting. You pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. And Dogony is contented. And here, that's where we spare. Nothing to be gained, except the contentment of the amalgamates. Put them to rest at least some way. Okay then. Uh, <laughs> have to heal 2 HP, so might as well go save right here. I don't even need to actually save, I don't think, but... Doing it regardless. 
remember this one talking about how things are being all great. But I think this one's bound to be a unwelcome change. Number 16. No, 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 no! Yeah. It's safe to assume that things aren't exactly turning out well as things are going along. Ooh, very tense. Let's go and back away from it because I'm scared. No, we're gonna keep going. No, no, I'm too scared. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm not gonna turn away now. I can't do it. I can't. No, I'm, gonna, no, I'm not gonna do it. It's getting faster, faster. It's like a metronome, but it's just a green fidget spinner. Green key lying in the bathtub. He took it and put it on a keychain. <laughs> I can just imagine people like having different multiple like fidget spinners on multiple keychains, nicely using them for keys, just to have a weird contraption for their spinny things. Oh yeah, something that's also kind of relevant, unlike fidget spinners, is the fact that Undertale is coming to PS4. That thing's a little creepy, I don't want to spend too much time looking at it even though it could very well save there. There's a note on the ground, you can't make it all out. Under sheets, and that's the yellow one that we already have. So there we go, put it perfectly into the slot. There are a bunch of VHSs, seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. Okay, what about this side? Mostly cartoons of some kind? A lot of anime, safe review stray, sticky ones? Okay, <laughs> don't think too much into that. Entry number four, I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Azure has watched them. I don't think he should. But I kind of think that we will. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Yeah, let's watch the one about cancel. Okay, I guess we can. Let's just watch tape one. See what we're getting into. Psst, Dory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Er, and why do you have that video camera? Shush, I want to get your reaction. Dory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is... And a mame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. Hee hee hee. Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamaranian. Ho ho ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know. If you keep making jokes like this, one day, you could be a famous momedian. Well, I'm going to go to bed. Hey! Come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know. I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Alright, that's tip number one. Obviously a little bit about Asgore and Toriel. Whatever happened to them. Tape two. I'm sure there's more to be found out. Okay, Justin, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah! Hehehe. <laughs> oh, wait, I have the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. Haha. <laughs> Pretty brief one, but a little cute. Number three now. Howdy, Justin. Smile for the camera. Heh, <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on, on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. Hehehe. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in buttercups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. I should have laughed it off, like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Next one. Let's take a look. I... I don't like this idea, Justin. Wh what N No, I'm not... Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I never doubt you, Justin. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Only one more left. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with taking a gander. Justin, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Justin, you have to stay determined. 
You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst. Justin, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... I... No, I said. I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Hmm. Stuff has been discovered. The save point's kind of in our way, but let's see if it'll allow us to pass once we save. Seems pretty happy, but now not so much. Alright, here we go. Okay, this one's a little bit more Shiren like. It smells like sweet lemons. Lemon. Lemon bread. <laughs> kind of a funny name. Taken away from the seriousness. No way to check it, really. But let's do some calling. You called for help, but nobody came. Welcome to my special hell. That's a little creepy. Let's just uh, go against things and. <laughs> Good thing you have a tooth gap. Kind of like myself. <laughs> let's not talk about that too much. It smells like sweet lemons. No need to heal right now. Uh, but Shiren, Shiren likes humming a little bit. Hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread spotty shakes. Do you think I'm pretty? Sure you are. Whoa, whoa what exactly do I do here? I thought the candy corn teeth things were going to come after me. I don't think I've ever seen that attack before. It's just like the uh, tooth face one that we saw before. It smells like sweet lemons. At least it's not teen spirit. Even if Shiren is a teen herself. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we're hugging, but let's try unhugging. You let lemon bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shake. That's what they all say. Here comes this one again. <laughs> I like how the rhythm of the music is going with this, no matter what rhythm it's set to. <laughs> Maybe it could have been a little bit more on track. Gotta reset to get it right. Oh yeah, it's got a little bit of air in as well, with the way the weird arm is. Let's do some flexing. You flexed your arm. Lemon bread seems to remember something. I felt this before. Alright, so that should be all we need to do. Just gotta do a few different things to try to bring back the great memories. Alright, could this be goodbye? It could be, with this yellow text. Goodbye, Amalgamate. Or Lemon Bread, as you are. <laughs> this thing is a little too creepy for my taste, so let's just read this and get out of here. DT Extraction Machine, status inactive. Alright, at least this is not another lengthy entry, so we can get past that thing. <laughs> entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. And actually, this room right here, if we came through before turning on all the fans, would be pretty white in here and you'd be going around interacting with things and say creepy things like, it feels like the figure of a man. Things of that sort. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. What about this one? This refrigerator seems to contain samples of some kind. Not exactly cup noodles, so let's just continue along past that. Entry number 20! Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute tea cup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Uh, this refrigerator's a little shaky, but apparently it's empty. I'll hold you to that. Number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Me too. This refrigerator seems to contain samples of some kind, okay. What about this one? It's empty. Nice little pattern. Except, it's not empty. Looking creepy-tastic. And it's so cold, it's probably one of the sadder ones. You can definitely tell it's a Snow Drake type of body. I think it's a little bit of a gift trot too, with the way it's like CP mouth is down. And you see the Vegetoid carrot things. Anyway, enough looking around at it. Let's do the checking. And it looks like the figure of a man making the snowflake shape. Attack negative 12, defense negative 5, seems like it's losing itself. Literally and figuratively. Sno oh, we Watch out for the croissants of disappointment. Too cold to even try. <laughs> it's pretty funny if you ask me. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? Sno oh, we... Yep, not too hard to dodge much of anything. Just stick around. It's so cold. Let's try for a funny joke. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, <laughs> I remember. Just keep it up as it is. It's so cold. I right, can't spare yet, so... Let's do more jokes. I don't really feel like heckling. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. Haha, <laughs> thank you. Let's uh, move around a little bit, but still not actually hit. I thought it was going to come back for me. Can we spare yet? No, not quite. I think we may have to do some heckling. 
He said something like, You look horrible. Why are you even alive? What? You didn't say that? Sn oh, we? Oui. I feel good. So cold. Alright. How about some more jokes? Bad pun, completely calm down. There we go. And here we go. The blue key. And I hereby dub these fans as the ultimate fidget spinners. <laughs> you see the video of like an Arab guy playing with a fidget spinner. It's like, nah man, then he pulls a, a an actual ceiling fan out and uses it. And we did get the green key. I think we do have all the keys now. We just need to finish things out. Or finish them up. No on the ground, you can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you could read. Yep, that's the one room that we were slowly going into. <laughs> This episode might be going on a little bit long, and this is still uninteractable. It's just a red herring, like herring way, uh, 31 minutes in, so <laughs> may actually be past 25 minutes on this, but oh well. Never bad to have long episodes on an LP that I hardly do much, and I think in future LPs I may start trying to shift to around 25 minute videos rather than like the 18 or so that I say I like to do. Uh, where exactly are we trying to finish up? Oh yes, uh, I think we're all done exploring and reading all these things, so... We just go back to the main room, heal myself up even though we don't quite need to. But you never know what can happen. Another thing I've said a lot in stream. <laughs> and, uh, our character moving around, looks like his mouth is just flapping up and down. Say so it's because we don't know exactly for sure whether male or female. Just taking brisk breaths as we move around. Okay, we didn't actually grab the blue key, so... And the blue key, haha. <laughs> uh, where was it that we needed to go again? <laughs> Into the curtain. Wait, no, we just need to put into the thing. Yeah, place we've been to. We just had to backtrack a little bit. <laughs> Taking all this extra time to get things done. <laughs> Don't exactly want to see that rather creepy thing again. Let's we'll just continue past this way. Don't have to worry about the Reaper bird amalgamate. Keep on going through the place that we enter right here. Here we go. Blue key fits perfectly. I'm sure you do, Blue I'm sure you do. <laughs> Double standards, I guess? Now that all of them are into place, I'm not having any jump cuts. I don't think I've had any cuts at all this episode, just letting things go as they are. Show off the creepy yet kind of bittersweet situation that happens here in the True Lab. But we are pretty much done. All these in place. Let's go to the next little area after we save, of course. True Laboratory. Enter this. Alright, we can continue back and forth. Uh, this elevator is still broken because we need to work with the generator. And that just happens to be in, coming up. Nothing to read here because it's turned off. Due to being, I guess, on the same power grid or whatever. But, let's go into this room. Hope there's no final crazy encounters. It's like it has its own soul. Turn it on. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Yep, let's turn it on. Oh man, here they come. Everybody's coming back to get me. I don't want this to happen. It's like a smorg from Paper Mario's house in your door in the middle of the black parts with the eye looking stuff. Hey, stop! Oh, look who it is. I got you guys some food, okay? And off they go very happily. Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had, and... Anyway... The power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had 
been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing, deep down, that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. See, everybody's happy now. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Okay. Let's take a look at this one extra time. The power's been turned on. So, with that, we could probably do some final reading, and also use that other elevator. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Hmm. Number 18. The flower's gone. Well then, I'd say it's elevator time. After a phone call. It's the voice you have never heard before. Justin! Are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Justin, see you soon. This is unexpected. Going up with a crash. Vines to cover the way. No way to escape now. And we're here at the new home. Well then, being here, I say, next time on Let's Play Undertale, we're going to get to the bottom of this, see what exactly is going on with the things we've been hearing about, and finally reach a conclusion to the true pacifist route. Until then, don't toast yourself, and stay determined.